Generic greetings and welcome to Airships Conquer the Skies, where in the previous episode we made the Paris Ground Carrier. Now there's been a lot of requests to make a ground carrier, and I have made them in previous versions, version 9 I believe, and they've always been a bit iffy because they tend to cost a lot, and indeed this one costs 6 grand, so it's not exactly cheap, but they also just don't seem to be that effective. However, this one so far has um, been all right, although we haven't really tested it against a full, like like an equal amount, so we haven't versed like a, say, a 6k ship, although, to be fair, that versus say, a couple of Denvers, obviously that's always going to die, but it, that's a balanced thing. Uh, the main problem with carriers is that you can't control the aircraft, they just do their own thing, so you can't just say put them in a hauling pattern or, or whatever. Anyway, that's uh, by the by. So, we managed to uh, go around and assault, and this episode is really just finishing off this campaign, and that's what we'll be doing. So we're going to just be assaulting the towns, using all of the different classes of ship that we've got, and maybe even trying some uh, different bits out. So this is um, me assaulting them over the... well, just above um, the... Just above their territory, we moved in. So I'm just going to start the fight immediately. I'm going to order these to board and then board. Because uh, what I want to do is um, just, you know, get them under command. And then pretty much this will be a very, very, very easy win. Because we're just going to get right near them. And then you can see a boatload of people are going to jump on. And then we're just going to capture these things. They keep on sending these quickly to attack me. I'm going to... Damn it, I was just going to move that Denver out the way because it was getting shot and then uh, that didn't work out so well. Oh, we've captured the ship at the back now and it's going to be shooting the one at the front. <laughs> there we go. So that should be a... Uh... Oh no, looks like they have actually, sadly, managed to um, prevent a capture on that. So I will now promptly deal with it by swapping these round and then attacking. Boarding. And the back end just come off again. Oh well, that's going on the ground then. So we've captured them both, but we've lost we've lost two of the Denvers doing it. Not it's not it's a problem. We've got so much. So I'm just going to say uh, move back to there. So there we go. And we do have two unities now, which is good. Look at the speed of the Paris. It's it's faster than anything in the game. What's the speed of these things? Speed 250 kph. Paris <laughs> 320. Well, can't argue with that. Right, start the fight against... Ah, oh, now this should be a tough fight because they've got th uh, four cannons and two rifles and it's obviously a fairly heavily armoured structure. So you can see already we are taking lots of rifle hits to these triplanes. We have our cannon firing there which we will put onto an aimed fire situation. And you can see now the bombers are taking off which are probably going to do most of the damage. So there goes the bombs and boom. Yep, yeah, there we go. Although we are taking damage. Look at that. See the damage on that plane? I don't know if you could see it because it was just off to the right hand side. There we go. So that plane has taken damage and ooh, it's been taken out. There it goes. There it goes. Now these planes will come back and land and repair. That's something that they will actively try and do. In fact, as you can see... This one is there. It's getting refueled and rearmed. You see the little the spanners there? Look, they're hitting it with the spanners. So that's damaged, and now it's uh, getting sorted. And I think there's been a secondary explosion. Yes, we've caught it out. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, gentle take over there. So that's um, all of our ships there. I'm going to. Oh, do I really want to assault with these? I want to assault with the airships down. I want to go off the Clockwork Wasps. Actually, let's move to there. And Paris can move to probably there in a second. Barry's are getting built there. I guess it's just a case of attacking, and I will go for the Clockwork Wasps with the, these. Gotta <laughs> Oh, that's great. The speed of that is amazing. And we'll start the fight, and... This one shouldn't be too difficult at all because it's weird wooden. Oh, but they have got rifles on. But uh, yeah, we've we've taken that out. Gentle take over there. So this one, we want to. This is the Austin. We want to refit it. We want to go to armor, fill it with the dragon hide, and then we will refit that. And then there we go. And then we're going to use it to assault the sky kraken. Speaking of assault, we've got the clockwork wasp to deal with. So we're going to move the carrier further back. We'll uh, reserve the bombers because they're pretty much useless, and we're going to put these. Barry's in a position where basically we're just using them as gun platforms. So we'll start the fight, and there you go. So there's the wasps coming out, but they shouldn't be too much of a problem because we should be able to take them out, although that hasn't happened because we were on a reload cycle just as that happened. So I think 
we might actually lose one of these. Although, now that the carriers are there, you can see that the hussars are shooting the wasps. Although it is actually moving back now. So you can hear the slicing slicing of the wasps there. We are trying to take them out, although they might manage to take this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to move it right far forward. As we should do with most of these now. Even the carrier, because quite frankly it's just backing up. Looks like we did manage to take out them wasps. So this is just this is a win. It's just uh, trying to deal with all of this. And what the hell happened there? I ordered this to go forward. It then not all the, <laughs> it not only didn't go forward. It made these these two stop, and that's quite annoying. Why is it backing up? Can you see it keeps trying to back up? I'm seriously not understanding what it's doing, but either way, I'm just going to push them forward because the uh, the uh, <laughs> the Denver can push it forward. There we go. So I'll speed up to max speed because we can't lose it. We've got unlimited ammo now, practically, with all the hussars and the planes. There we go, and it's gone. And that should be a bit of money. Eight grand, in fact. Okay. Um, we'll leave that where it is. It's fine. One thing I do want to check is... Design landship. Open the design. The Paris. Biplane. Requires advanced tier 4 flight. Yes, yeah, so it is a biplane. So there's your triplane. Alright, yeah. Yeah, it's just I thought that was, that was a triplane because it it looked like it. There was a wing there, but when you zoom in, it's not. So that is the that is the right one. That's fine. Uh, well, we're rude not to build another one while we're here. There we are. So we will keep attacking with the Paris. Uh, this is against Ooh, fleet. There's no way I can deal with that. So I'm gonna run back to there, and we'll take that out with the rest of our forces here. Uh, the barries are almost built for the giant bees. Uh, this thing is getting done, so that's fine. Let's, in, let's invade Light Jar. So, with that, we'll also invade there. So, we'll use the Paris to go up and move. Um, so, we need to get in position. So, obviously high-level bombing again, but once again, there's a Suspendium Rock right on the level where these bombers are, and it's really starting to grind a bit, that. Because it does seem to be consistently in the exact same place. <laughs> anyway, start the fight. Um, we will be getting shot at pretty much straight away. But I'm just going to have to fly as far forward as I can to take these out. You can see they're getting absolutely peppered. I am going to move the carrier forward as well because if we do that, we will hopefully get the planes... Yeah, the planes are launching and going out faster. So there we go. Looks like the Dresden has lost one of its... One of its suspendium chambers, so it's dropped right down to there. That will almost certainly die, just because of the... It's actually bombing underneath it, and it's taking out itself. But I'm not going to worry too much about it, quite frankly, because this is a win. Barry class is also grounded. Oh, look at that! It's lost its suspendium chamber. And it's leaking as well, that there. So we're probably going to lose a, a Barry. Uh, oh, we lost the Dresden, but not the Barry. So that's interesting. So this is another fight. It, uh... One of their little townships. And this cannon goes off. That's... I, I really didn't plan on it being... I didn't have that cannon on the front. I didn't really plan on that at all. And then putting it on there seemed to fit the design. And then putting a smiley face on it made it work. So, gentle takeover. So we could just keep attacking here. Um, how are those getting out there? They are alright. So most of these fights, I'm not even going to bother moving these. Like, repositioning them because I'm going to gentle... Uh, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not even going to bother uh, moving them too much because, quite frankly, we uh, they're just going to give up. Cannons no longer explode. Good. 
Sailor maintenance cost. Don't really care either way. Um, computers. Computers are good. So it looks like they're, just, they're building defences now. So I'm going to send the Barrys down to take care of the giant bees. I also want to get that Austin refitted. So it's against the giant bees. What I'll do, I'll put them fairly close, but I'll stagger them. This so like, wherever they go, we should have something firing against it. We are going to back up though. Because they are... They're not targeting the bees. That's a problem. They're not targeting the bees, they're targeting that. They there we go, now they're targeting the bees. And because they've got reload cycles... That they should be firing at those, but they're not. This could cost us. This could cost us the game, actually, because they're not. They're only just shooting some of the bees now. The option is to just do this and do a 180, and they can only fire at the bees now. There we go. However, one has been... I think they might take this out. And in preparation for that, what we're going to do is move this around. Now, they won't be able to crew this. They cannot crew this. See, they have actually taken the bridge. But they can't crew it. So, even if they destroy everything, it just becomes uncrewed. And actually, we've managed to now finally uh, take that out. So, let's get ourselves some suspendium honey. What are we running out of there, actually? Coal. Uh-oh. Because we've been driving them back and forward all this time. They might start to fall out of the sky. So let's get closer. Because, quite frankly, we need to... Ooh, they're wallowing around a bit, aren't they? Why is that going back over? There's no reason why that should go back over. <laughs> but I've ordered it to there and it's not moving at all. Are we totally out of coal? We're not totally out of coal. Look at that, it keeps backing up. It's backing up for no reason. It is actually actively trying to back up. It says that will call. Okay, so ground the ship. Ground the ship. Ground all the ships. So, we will still be here. Um... We'll max speed this out. Actually, we'll do for... We'll go and aim fire. Now, we're not going to be able to take this out, are we? Oh, there we go. <laughs> we just had enough coal to do it. Wow, 12,000. Expensive. So, those barriers can meet up with the main force here. And then we're going to make our way inside. Halfway on the... Wow, look at that. They've retrofitted that tower. Whoa, that's a fairly big, that's a fairly naughty uh, design, that. So they've got three heavy cannons, and they've got loads of rifles. This is really my nemesis here. This is going to be a test of the, of the Paris, because the rifles are easily taking out these. Look at all the damage on them, and the huge cannons can give us a fairly big hit. And we've got some holes in it. Oh no, it is actually hitting and putting some holes in it. But remember, we have got the... I think we have got the heaviest armour on this. Well, actually, it might not be the heaviest armour, but it is um, steel armour. We are chipping away from the top there. You can see the bombers are doing good work. And... Annoyingly, they've left the rifles at the front. Of all the things to take out, I mean, one of the bombs will hit directly and it'll just fall apart. I don't know how expensive that thing is. There we go. But I imagine that's quite efficient. And that's going to be a brutal takeover. 
and they're moving over to this area to defend it. They have sent that thing, and they've got a tiny defensive structure. So that's fine. Once again, suspendium just at the right height, so I can't reach the ideal uh, the ideal height for the the bombers. But we'll we'll manage. We'll manage. So it's going to go to there. The Dresden just needs to be either a little bit lighter or ideally just a little bit just have just more suspendium. Another 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 suspendium chamber. In fact what I'd probably do is redesign it so it has a large suspendium chamber. So that looks like that's been taken out. And that's a that's a victory. And brutal takeover, and then we'll just attack that one. Oh. We'll invade this one. So it's pretty much a GG, I think. Yeah, he's just giving up. Uh, the Stone Guardian, though. I don't think the I don't think the Paris can take that out. I really don't think it can. Quite frankly, I'm not even going to try it. However, what I am going to try is once the Dragon Hide ships have been done, we're going to try and um. I'm going to try and do an assault with them. So I think so far, overall, the designs we've made, apart from the... Apart from the Leroy, I think all of the designs have been useful in some way. The Leroy was a good bit of fun. The reason why I didn't do this on a higher difficulty... Uh, like I said, there's a couple of reasons. Mainly, I'm not entirely confident in... Um, winning it, although I have tried um, privately a, a game on the max difficulty and I really just had to be, you know, ultra efficient, just make bombers and stuff like that and go for that sort of thing and it, it was, you know, it, it worked and you saw all the designs but really the way to win it was that. Um, and I didn't, but I didn't really have the freedom to to make these other, other things. It starts off really difficultly, like the difficulty curve is huge at the start, and then once you take over other people's stuff, it becomes a lot easier. Um, but, yeah, I, uh, I didn't find it uh, that interesting, because I, I couldn't make like random designs like this. Like, I certainly wouldn't have attempted building the Paris. The Barrys, I think, they've got a place, because you can build them almost from the get-go. I think the gas bags, I don't know if you get them from the start, hang on. Uh, suspendium chambers, then you get pressurized suspendium dust tank. Oh, so I mean, you might get an NGI suspendium right at the start, actually. Uh, uh, that at the start. Let me check. Um, design ship. Lift. But large suspendium dust tank doesn't require any technology. See that? The pressurized one does. It's tier 2. Require NGI suspendium. Oh, so, so you get all of these tanks. You get the tanks at the start. However, the suspendium chamber is tier one, which we all start with tier one. But yeah, all the end caps and other things you get a standard. So actually, the Barry you can build from the get go because I believe we come with. I think the grape shots are a standard anywhere. So I've unpaused it. All I'm going to do is knock it up a notch in terms of difficulty. Uh, in terms of speed. And. There's computers now researched, and what do I want to research? Who wouldn't have it? Why not? We're never going to use it. We now have our Dragonhide Austin. So we're going to take the Sky Kraken. So, ultimate fighting championships here. Who's going to win? It's moving right down. And I actually want to move behind it, and the reason for that is A, it's not going to attack me with those, and B, uh, shots fired from the east are distracting shots from the east. Uh, distracting light from the east means shots fired from left to right. Oh, that's accurate. There we go. So I won't actually be on the right, so I can assault it with full effect. And don't crash into the back. Ooh, there we go. That's good, that's good. Hits, good hits, good hits. It's obviously taking crew out, but yeah. <laughs> it's um I think it's feeling a little bit crispy. How'd you like your calamari? Oh, it's got no crew. 
Oh, it's got no command, rather. There we go. It's taking all of the crew from the... It's taking all of the crew from the... Thing. I think we've... Have we lost this? We might run out of crew. I'm going to flee. Yeah. Um... It, it just took all the crew out, and we lost it. Wow. Okay. That's a tough... That's a tough nut, that. That is a tough nut. Um... Okay. Build ship. The... Actually, no. Design ship. Open design. Austin. Armour. Fill dragon hide. Build. One of that's a medium ship we are building that, that's going to take a while. We'll build a couple. At least that's interesting that it uh, does that. Right, cool. So, um, there's their city there, one of their cities. I can view it and you can see they've got a walker, of all things. Okay. Um, but I don't think I can take it out with... Just the. Just one Paris. Two Paris, though. We've now got. Um, mech spiders. See if we can take see, use two Paris just to take it out. We'll put them as far back as possible. And start the fight. Targeting this one. Oh, they've got miniguns. We've immediately lost, I think. Because the planes... Are they taking a couple of hits? No, they're not. There we go. That's going to really do us in. We need to destroy it quickly if we are to win this. See, the bombers are happily... Well, indeed, bombing. But... The damage has already been done, really. I've lost all the, all the biplanes. Well, there's nothing. There's no orders to do. Oh, there we go. We just attack these now. Um, I change. I'm changing my mind. I think we've won that. Yeah, victory. There we go. So, fighting against that one. That's a victory. Do you know I might attack? I'm gonna attack the Stone Guardian with these things. Maybe repairing might be in order first, though. I think they've all got a bit of damage on them. So we'll move them over here. No, there's no damage at all. Right, Stone Guardian. Can I defeat the Stone Guardian? Oh, it's got a weird curve on it there. With these things. Now, remember, these do have the angled guns, 70 degree arc of fire. And we've got all the bombers and such. So it's going to... Ooh, it's got a... Like a pink, purpley light there. So this is a different Stone Guardian from the one we've uh, seen before. The other one had like a, a flat top and fired lots of different shots and this one just seems to fire, well, a beam of death. And we've lost the we've lost the cannon on the front there on the Paris. It's taken, taken hits. However, they are also taking hits. And it looks like it doesn't have the ability or will to shoot the planes. I think it can I don't think it can, whereas the other ones were. And there we go. Ah, huh, actually taking the top off. I wonder if we can keep the bottom half and put uh, something on there. That would be cool. <laughs> Guardian Guardian 6. Uh, massive stone walls. This is a fight over on the far left here. That's that's a victory. Brutal takeover. Go to Quagum. We'll go to there. And it's just a case now of finishing this off. Overall, though, the designs. So let's go through them sequentially. The Dresden. First thing we started with, very effective. On this map, not all of the ones I'm going to go through we designed in this series. Uh, was the previous one. But the Dresden, very effective. It's... Just got a nice balance. The only thing I really can say is that if I was going to redesign it now, I'd make it a little bit longer. Probably put another 
Uh, actually, no, I'll make it a little bit longer, but only so we can fit in the large suspendium generator. And then that would give us a bit more service ceiling, which means it would be just better for us. Um, the Coventry is not bad. It's all right. It's, um, it's just, oh, pirates over here. Fair enough. Um, guess there's guess nothing for me to do. I'll just let them fight. Yeah, the Coventry, it's not bad. It's got loads of rockets and a rifle on the bottom. I don't mind it, but it's not great. The, uh, ooh, look at that. The Barry. I think it's a great piece of kit. It's very, very cheap. It's got grape shots, which means it's not only quite devastating, also it deals with it deals with planes and the bees and it was a, we actually built it for the clockwork wasps. That was the original original design for it, and that's why we built that. Um let's just finish this one off here. Probably gonna surrender. There we go. What else have we got? We've got the Coventry, yeah, we've mentioned that. The Denver, that was originally called, well, it's had many names throughout the years of, well, literally many years of playing the game. Uh, Reacting Tons, the Chargers, um, and now obviously it's called the Denver. They all have the same, they all have the same idea and same principles, and that is it's fast, it's got a relatively decent service ceiling, and it's got borders. It might have some weapons, and I've, and I've used, I've used flamethrowers, I've used cannons, used um, Gatling guns, but really the whole point is that you, it's 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 made to get from point A to point B, regardless whether that be on the main map or when you're uh, fighting, point A, point B, extremely quickly, and then board whatever the target is, regardless of what it is. So it needs a good service ceiling, in this case, 247 meters. So it needs to go up quite high or, you know, attack from the ground. And we use that for all sorts. It really is like, you know, one of the, you know, an ultimate vessel, really. The only way to defeat is if you blow it up immediately, because if it gets its borders off, then that's it. You don't care, it's just a transport. Um, you know, having a gun is just sort of an added bonus, really. Uh, and that's all, all this is basic stuff you can build that from oh no sorry you can't the marine barracks is oh tier one okay so it is all basic stuff i think anyway um so that's good uh we then made the <laughs> the new york is a decent vessel it's uh i quite like it it's just a good carrier it's it's served us quite well the the new york well the york has just got cannons on the front whereas the new york is a little bit more streamlined in some of the placement of things as well as it's got uh, suspendium cannons on the front but because you've got um the by uh, the triplanes and the hazards and the suspendium cannons on the front it's a bit iffy <laughs> uh, to make you really need a lot of technology for it the sterling we haven't made many of them um this was pretty much just a an extension of the Barry, but the Sterling is just built for Gatling gunning things in front of it, which is what we should have really used for against the Clock Wasps now that I think of it, because they reload better. And then, yeah, finally we've got the... Where is it? Uh, the Leroy. Yeah, less said about that, the better. It was a good and interesting thing, but nah, it doesn't really work. Austin, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic thing. It's, uh, yeah, it's for something I really, really enjoy. <laughs> and um, it's what we're actually going to use to assault uh, their main city with. I'm going to max speed it out because I want one of them to be built. There's some large spider legs. Quite frankly, I'm not even going to do any more research. I'm waiting for these to be built. Oh, I might as well do research. Why not? Uh, steel armor weight or steam armor blast absorption. We don't have steel armor for the most part. So we've got how much? Ah, 33,000, and we'll invade with everything, so meet everything up here. And we don't have one of everything, but it's close enough. So we have, in no particular order, uh, the York, this isn't the New York, it's the York, it's got the cannons on there, classic design. The Paris, two of. Again, great designs, love them. The Barrys, good lads, tend to work quite well. Denver, reliable, old reliable Denver. And finally, the broken one. <laughs> uh, the Austin, which quite frankly, we're just going to send forward. And we'll probably end up bombarding our own thing again. There's the bombs. Ah, oh, they give up. They just give up. <laughs> they just flung in the towel. 
Oh, we had to duck because the sponge nearly hit his right in the face on that one. That is a victory of <laughs> interesting proportions. Um, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say a victory of uh, gargantuan proportions. I think we exploited some certain imbalances with the, uh, the high level bombing at the start to get a good foothold. We advanced round. But there were some good fights, there were some interesting designs, it was good to see the flow of all this and we fought some decent monsters as well. And yes, the Sky Kraken has remained undefeated, it's the monster that I don't think I've ever been able to, uh, to uh, defeat. I mean, we could just fling all, you know, if we flung half of our forces at it, we would have easily won it, but we didn't and now it's now. So, I hope you have enjoyed the video and indeed this series. Let me know what you would like to do in terms of another one or whether you like to just standalone videos where we make interesting designs or try again on a harder difficulty, but... I understand that we've done a couple now, three see, uh, three full campaigns. I don't know what more we could really bring to it because I would use I'll be using a lot of the same designs. But let me know what you think, and if there's a great call, then we might uh, go ahead and uh, fire up another series. Still going to be obviously featuring it and keep an eye on it. But uh, yeah, we will uh, go from there, I guess. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings. <laughs>